There it is right there, every single pair of running shoe I've ever owned. Today I'm going to be reviewing the ASIC Piranha SP5s. Hello world, today I'm going to be reviewing the ASIC Piranha SP5s. These are a very fast pair of racing flats and I'm currently training for a marathon so before I get into the actual review of the shoe, I want to get into what's led me up to this point and why I chose this pair of shoes. My very first pair of shoes that I completed the marathon in weren't even shoes. They were the Vibram Five Finger Shoes. And these were good for me. They helped me keep my running form good, but I didn't like when my feet got wet in them. Blisters could happen. I didn't like, I didn't like no support on my feet. So. After I did my first marathon with these, I was planning on training it for an ultra marathon. So I was reading some different books on running form and I got into a little bit into barefoot running, which is what led me to the ASIC Piranhas. These are the ASIC Piranha SP3s and these shoes, we went through a lot together. Um, if you can see right here, um, I actually wore straight through to my feet. There's a little, little bit of blood, but I, I wore these shoes out. Um, I actually put 1,400 miles on these shoes in one year. So these shoes put up with a lot. I like these shoes because, first of all, I was able to slip them on and off my feet really quickly. Um, I didn't need to wear socks with them. They're well vented, so in not wearing socks, your feet don't get too sweaty because there's air constantly flowing through it. Really like this pair of shoes. So afterwards, my next few years of runnings of ultra marathons and triathlons, I had five more pairs of these shoes that I went through, put a ton of miles on them, pretty much all of them wore them down to nothing. But they got more and more expensive because once a shoe company makes a shoe, they stop producing it and then it gets more and more expensive to find, and if you're even able to find somebody that still sells it. So I moved on to the SP4s, the next model. Basically the same shoe, um, not a whole lot of difference. Super lightweight, super fast. Uh, kind of the only difference I saw with these was the flimsy tongue it had in it. And kind of didn't like that at first. I wanted to go back to my old ones, but after using these for, um, for some races, I actually liked these the best. They were a little bit lighter. I mean, we're talking ounces here, but they were a little bit lighter than the SP3. So I really like these shoes, but um, then they came out with a new model. So that's what led me to the SP5s. First glance, I really liked the color of these shoes. Uh, it was kind of, the, the other models were really boring. It's kind of fun to have some bright colors. And these shoes had some nice bright colors. Um, my first concern with it was the mesh was a little bit different on it. It's not as breathable as the other models were. And then uh, the tongue, I was a little bit worried about that too because it kind of flops around, doesn't stay in place. But I decided, but I got them for $50, which the other ones I was paying $100, $120 for. So uh, that was a pretty good deal. $50 I was able to get these for. Um, I've been using them for about a, a week and a half and I put 20, 30 miles on it. I'm just starting my marathon training. And today after I got done with my run, I noticed this. You can barely see it right there. My toe is actually starting to bust a hole in the side of these. And this is something that has happened in all of my shoes. Um, my toe has gone through the sides of them, which I am fine with, but 30 miles into my using the shoes, that's way too early for this to be happening. So my review on the ASIC Piranhas SP5 is the model has gotten worse. I do not like it. Thumbs down. Um, my toe can't be wearing through 30 miles into training. Whether you're racing or training for anything, I know these aren't technically meant for marathons, they're actually meant for, uh, they're just racing flats for five, 10 Ks, really short stuff, but still the th SP3s, I was able to get 1400 miles out of them before I was able to be done with them. These are ripping a hole in the side, the, the first part of using, using them. Thank thankfully, I bought them on Amazon, so I'm going to be returning them and my status is I'm still up in the air on what kind of running shoe I'm going to buy. Uh, my requirements are something super lightweight, minimalist, not as minimalist as these. I need a little bit more down there than that. I don't want to feel every single rock I step on. Um, I'm probably going to check out the Ultra shoes. They have a wide toe box, uh, but 
they aren't, I haven't found one of their shoes. That's what these shoes actually are. These, these are ultra shoes and I did use these for running on trails. And if I ever do like a 50 miler again, that's on uh, dirt, I will use these shoes again, but I need something super fast for the marathon. So my review of the SP fives is they don't breathe enough. Uh, there's no, not enough ventilation getting through. I had to wear socks with them and I don't like wearing socks and the tongue flops all over. It's way too thin and I'm busting through the sides of it, which I give it five more miles and there's a completely big hole and I'm not going to run a race like that. So I will keep you guys updated. Uh, maybe comment below your favorite pair of running shoes, what you've had success with, especially if it kind of fits what I'm looking for. I'm looking for minimalist. I'm looking for the type of shoe that you can run without socks on. Uh, so it doesn't, it can't have a big insert into it and super lightweight and it can't have a big drop in it. I like the Alters because they are zero drop. So I'm leaning towards one of their shoes. I just hope I can find one thin enough that's lightweight enough that I can race in. So that's it. Comment below uh, your favorite kind of running shoe and what's worked for you. And thank you for watching this episode of the Davy Train. I will keep you updated on what shoe I actually pick. I'm gonna go shoe shopping today. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.